Good day everyone and welcome to Doka School. Today we're going to discuss the update 0.4.6 and there is a lot to discuss so let's dive straight into it. First of all that I want to discuss is the multi-characters. Normally when you deleted the character then it would delete the database tables for the bank and also for the characters. Now it also does the um, inventory. So if I go to the database quickly, I have here my character, I have my bank account and I have my inventory and this was not deleted upon character deletion. So if I'm now going to delete my character, get this warning, yes, I want to delete everything. If I go back to the database, and now I have a look at it. Refresh. My inventory is gone. Banks is gone. And characters is gone. So now whenever you uh, delete a character, the database gets cleaned up properly. And you will not be leaving with a lot of bunch of bull crap staying behind. Also, we have um, made some changes to the multi-characters. So let's show you that quickly. To go back to Red M and let's make a character quickly. Let's call it uh, again Dev Docus, Docus, NLD, and just give it some random birthday. Now, of course, you will hear a train. It takes a couple seconds for uh, for the character to start showing up. But what changed is that the skin creator kicks in basically right now already. So before your character gets unlocked, this will prevent your character from that people were trying to walk and then the multi-character kicks in and then suddenly you are just having this wiggling around. Normally, whenever you um, start the server the first time, the character will have clothing. So to make sure you do not get that these spaghetti arms, Make sure that you change gender and then you can, you know, change whatever you want to change and save it. So let's just give it something and uh, give it a beard. There we go. And let's save it. There we go. Now, the HUD normally uh, kicks in whenever your character spawns. So as you can see now, it just spawned in after I created the character. That also includes the welcomes message to the server. For the rest, for the multi-characters, it has been updated to the latest API changes. So the plugin is up to date with the latest version of Docus Call. The HUD itself got an update too, so if I look up for a moment, you see it better. In the left corner below the minimap, you now only have gold and money inside the, uh, the HUD that you have on your pocket. If you want to know what you have in your bank, you actually have to physically go to the bank itself in order to see what you have in your bank. So that has been changed too. The HUD does not show anymore what you have in total in your bank. This uh, same counts for the inventory. So if we open the inventory for a moment, um, the money and gold that you see right here is the money and gold that you have on your pocket. So it does not show bank money anymore. I'll explain later why that is. First of all, to make it more realistic, but also because the banks became separate. So you now have separate bank accounts. But more of that in a, in a moment. You see this hand right here with a dollar sign with saying question marks. This uh, will later become like when whenever you're going to do a job you will not always immediately get paid for it because you're going to deliver goods and somebody else is going to sell those goods and you you are going to get paid from that and probably the NPC or whatever, depending the job, the NPC is going to get a commission out of it, things like that. Whenever you do get your paycheck, basically it will be updated right here. So this is the total amount of money that you can still get from all these NPCs and jobs around on the map that you can start to collect. So this is the total amount of money 
that you have worked for. So not all jobs will pay out directly. And if there is a payout to be due, you can actually see the amount right here, but it's not in use right now. And it will be in use in a future version. Also, the inventory has been updated to the latest API. So it is compatible with the new Docus Core uh, 0.4.6. Next thing that I want to show is the old settings menu. I have renamed it to core menu for the plugin name and it has now two new menus. It has the information menu and it has the admin menu. So let's go to information first. If I click on the discord button, this is basically the slash discord command that you could do in chat. This is now removed and it's placed inside this menu. If I click on it, you will see the Discord invite link to your Discord server. You will see my Discord link right here, right now, but you can change this inside the core config of Docus Core. The next thing inside the um, core menu is the admin menu. Keep in mind, clicking on the admin menu button does not check by itself if you are an admin or not. So right now I am a user. I can still click on the button and see the option teleport menu. Depending on what kind of information we're going to put in here, it could be that we are going to check if you are an admin whenever you click that button. But right now it doesn't do that, so keep that in mind. Whatever it does do is whenever I click on teleport menu and then teleport to marker, nothing happens. Well, first of all, I have no marker set. And second of all, I am not an admin. So let's go to the database quick and let's set myself to admin. Well, I can set myself to admin or to owner. What is the highest ranking? So if I would now go to the admin menu, teleport, teleport to marker, it would say I have no waypoint set. Normally it would just teleport me to the code 000. Uh, because I had no marker set, now it just gives you a warning message. So it will not teleport you below the map anymore. So if I would now make a marker right here in Valentine, and I would go to my admin menu and then teleport to marker, right now you will see I'm teleporting to Valentine because I have set myself to be a owner slash admin of the server. So that is basically it for the changes on this um, menu. Um, you have now the information button and the admin uh, menu uh, button. What will contain later on a lot more information like player lists, uh, things like that, uh, kick, uh, banning and go on. I have also restructured the um, files of the core menu so it, it's, you can see much better how it, it is structurized. So if I would go to the text editor for a moment, you can ignore all this information, I'll come back to that in a moment. I just want you to look at this, um, these files right here. If I go to the configs, then you see here the admin, um, this basically is the config for the admin menu. For the pages, for the characters, the core, the information page, the music page, and the settings page. Normally, this was located inside one config folder, but for example, the music one getting quite long right now. Imagine all these ones being together, it's getting a little bit too much. For the music lists, for the auto playlist, we have made a separate um, file for it. We have, of course, the modern music and the Western music. In the core, the clients, you have, of course, of course, the core um, functions itself for running the system itself. And then the NUIs, what are the callbacks whenever you click on a button. Again, this is sorted into admin, character, information, music. Opening the menu, this is basically whenever you click on a button that opens a new menu that is stored in here. And we have others, things that simply I have no way to categorize at this right moment. Though do keep in mind that there is this anti-click abuse because it does go to the database and requests 
things like whenever you click on button uh, some buttons will go to the database requesting information so players could like spamming this button in order to start bugging your uh, server side of the server uh, in order to make sure that this doesn't happen every um, 10 seconds we are well, do I say it right 10 seconds yes I think it's 10 seconds if you do more than five clicks now I think this is one second and if you do more than five clicks then you get kicked from the server out the kick do not spam the doku scroll menu i'll show you that at the end of the video next thing on the list is the banking plugin there has been some significant changes to the banking plugin before if you um, created a character a bank account would be created for you automatically this is not happening anymore if you get into the server you have no bank account you have to create one yourself by going to the bank of your choice. It will cost money in order to open in a, in an account. So you have to choose wherever you want to go to open your first account. Each city has now a individual bank. So they are not connected anymore. So if you store money in Valentine, that money will not be there in Blackwater or in Saint Denis. Later on, there will be a job to sync these banks up uh, so that whenever you deposit something in Valentine, a couple minutes later, whenever somebody done that job, uh, that courier job, you will be able to withdraw the money also inside Saint Denis. But that is not made yet, so keep in mind the money where you de deposit it is where you have to withdraw it. Also, I already have laid the groundwork for the future update, what I just told you, that the banks would sync up. So whenever you do a transaction, all the banks in the um, database, the syncing will go back to false. So meaning that all the banks, because there is a transaction done, money has been changed, all these banks have to be updated again. This can be done by a player, and if a player doesn't do it, eventually an NPC will spawn in and he will start updating the banks. So let's now quickly look at the bank itself. If I go inside the bank, you can see right now I have $2.25 on my bank. So if I now open the bank account, um, this was a change also by the way. If you click on the menu, it right now it says on the construction. So if I go back, how are you doing? Going to this uh, menu, so let me know, huh? what can I do for you? So I want to open an account, open my account. But it says, I'm sorry, you don't have a bank account. You first have to uh, register one. So right now, let's do that. I want to create an account and it will says this cost $1 fee. You can customize this inside the config. Though for this $1, for this text, you also have to customize that in the config file of the um, NPC uh, interact menu itself. So whenever you do say I agree, you can now see in the HUD that $1 gets deduced. It says I have paid my fee, my bank account is getting created. And now it has created my bank account. The next thing that I have introduced to the bank is fees. Whenever you do a transaction, a deposit or withdraw, you have to pay a fee to the cashier. This fee will go into the vault of the bank and whenever somebody does a job for the bank, he or she will get paid from this vault. So if I now open this bank and I go to my account, I have right now zero money and zero gold inside the bank. So I have 1.25 inside my pocket. So let's say I want to deposit $1 to keep it simple. So I deposit it and at the top you will see here that I have transacted $1 and the fee was 0.05 cents and in total cost me 1.05 and the fee was set at 5%. So now you see that I lost $1.05 giving me only 0.2 left. 
So that is introduced into the bank now too. You can in the config change the amount of um, taxation, the fees and everything. You can change that in the config. Um, so it's right now it's 5%, but you can also set it on 1%, on half a percent or 10%, 15%, whatever you want to have it. Keep in mind that this is a first step to the econ uh, economics that we want to have with the automatic inflation and deflation. And that system will also inflate or deflate the price that you have set in the config. So let's say you have set it to 5%, but a lot of people start doing transactions at the Valentine Bank only and not no other banks. Then the Valentine Bank will become richer and richer, but will inflate the vault what increases the taxation on this bank. So you can set it to 5%, but if many people start to interact with it, this slowly starts incrementing. So you set it to 5%, a lot of people start interacting with this bank, and the, eco the economy, the inflation, will automatically set this, for example, to 5.5%, to 6 6.5%. And whenever people stop, using the valentine bank and start you know transferring money to other banks it starts to deflate and it goes back to its default original value but this is something in the making and will be released in a future update but this is the first step of having a realistic ec economy where where there is a lot of interaction the prices will grow and where there is basically no interaction you will have low prices so people will be scattering over the map than just bundling up into one city. So now basically the only thing that is still to be discussed are the changes in the core framework itself. Because there are quite some significant changes to be, to be made in this new version 0.4.6. First of all, if I would go to my editor, at the top here you see bank money and bank gold. This is normally whenever you start your character, you were able to set money and gold, bank money and bank gold on your character. This is not because you're not getting a bank account anymore directly. Bank money and bank gold became deprecated. So you can set values on here, they won't work anymore. Um, it's still in the config because the um, handling that we do with this data is obfuscated and we will remove this at a later stage but keep in mind that you do not get bank money or bank gold anymore at the start of your new character i have also um restructured this a little bit uh, and i have put inside the npc interact that is these are for those that do not know these are the modules that we created for doku school and you can turn them on or off. Some are required, and I put required behind them, and some are optional. Um, for the skin creator, um, yeah and no, you, it is optional, but um, I would recommend it as to be required. But if you want the characters to look all the same, just with different clothing, yes, you can just set this to false, and don't use the skin creator at all but this is now restructured and uh, gives you a better view basically the next thing that i want to show you is the add gold and add money so the add gold and add money is now just called gold and money because now with the same command you can add or remove money from people's account. Normally you were only able to add money to people's account. Now you are also able to remove money from people's account. So the command itself got restructured too. I'll show you that in a moment. But keep in mind, it's not add money anymore. It's just money slash money and slash gold. So in red M, if I would now want to give myself some money now first of all i want to show you before i do that look again at the left corner you see the gold the money 
then you see these puppets what means this is your character id so whenever you go back to the character login screen and you take your second character on the list that will turn into a two this is not your server id this is your character id then you see this um, id batch and this is your server id so whenever i want to give myself money or somebody else let's say money it asks me for my server ID first. So that's gonna be one for this. I'm also having character ID one at this right moment. Then it asks me, what, where do I want to send the money? Do I want to have it in my wallet directly? Or do I want to get it into my bank? So I'm going to say wallet. Now keep in mind that bank right now is not working correctly yet because I have to figure out how to do this um, to make this work properly because banks are now separate so whenever you choose bank you also have to choose which bank so that has not been made yet keep that in mind right now you can only send money into the wallet of the person so we chose wallet and now we basically can do a plus if we want to add something or type add or a minus or remove so if I would say plus, and then I'm going to say the amount. So let's say I'm going to give myself a thousand dollars. Well, it's quite unrealistic for this time of the year. So now you see that I have a thousand dollars and 20 cents. So now let's remove some money. So if I again go to money, server ID one, character ID one, type is wallet. This time we're going to reduce uh, money from my account. And again, I'm going to say 1000. And I am back at just 20 cents. I'm, I'm, I'm back at being poor. So that is how the new uh, money thing works. This also applies to gold. The slash music command that we had before, with this you could do slash music and then you had a toggle true or false. If you would set it to false, no Dokuscore music would be played. This would be for streamers and YouTubers and make, to make sure that whenever there is copyrighted music playing, you won't get a strike. This is not anymore a slash command. You do now do this via the uh, core menu. Um, if I want to show you that quickly, I already showed that in an, an earlier update, but you can go to settings and then toggle music to off and then no music will be played anymore for you uh, still in game music if there is any um, like if characters are you know playing the banjo or something like that but you will not hear music that we have added into the game this is not a slash command anymore so keep that in mind I also have changed the um, transaction webhook how it looks uh, made it a little bit more clear so if I go to discord for a moment you will see that um, here um, you have some extra lines here. So basically, I separate the information a little bit better. So the webhook ID, what is of course a bank transaction, you see deposit or a withdraw, the Steam name, Steam ID, uh, basically the other way around, but the character name of in-game, your character ID, the amount of money that you transfer, and then you see your old and new, uh, wallet balance and your old and new bank balance this is the new way of showing the webhook to stay at the money part for a moment the database has also been changed so if i go to the database quickly normally your money would be as well of the money that you would have on your pocket as well as the money that you would have in the bank would be inside the bank's table this is not anymore because this won't work if we want to create multiple banks um, so right now you only have the money and gold inside the bank uh, table that is actually in the bank now you see type here what's called bank and then you see the bank name is going to be valentine the type can also have different values uh, one of the values will be loan 
if you because later on you will be able to loan to lend money from the bank it can also have things like investments later on you will be able to make maybe investments in uh, into companies and things like that so whenever the company does good you make money whenever it does bad you lose money basically some kind of uh, market that you can invest into and have a little gamble with but that's this will all be stored within the bank uh, table so the table has been restructured and therefore it's also very important that on this on, on this new update you basically delete the old database and insert the new one that we have provided with the new update and of course as said that the money that you have on your pocket will and gold will now be stored inside the characters table itself so it will be on your character now a couple more things within the editor that i want to show you guys we can close first of all this and now we have here the the admin db set characters this is basically for adding or removing the money from the account for the admin command. So this is how it works. This is also why we have to figure out how to do it with the bank itself. Because it has not been written within the API yet. If we scroll to the top of the page, you will see that there is a same callback trigger, but without the admin in between and what we have added is the payment feature this is a new api call that you can use as a developer to make sure that you are going to let a character do a payment you do not need to calculate the uh, money that the character has yourself the only thing you have to do is basically inside your um, file you create a line like this only then it, probably if you're going to trigger it from a client it's going to be uh, trigger a server callback so tc TS, tsc actually and then it's gonna say uh db call uh, db get characters well actually it's db set characters and then it's gonna say um immediately payment and then within the brackets it's gonna say your steam id your character id and the amount that you want the character to pay now we out the, the core automatically checks the database for the money that you have does the calculations and now this is what happens you have to make a variable out of it like this it returns a true or a false whenever it's true the character did have enough money and the transaction will be made whenever it returns false the character did not have enough money and you can you know give them a notification or something like that that they didn't have enough money and um, it just cancels this will not execute them so that is uh, that is that that is also new to the API a little bit lower in the same file we have docker score core db set bank this one has been completely rewritten um, what first of all it has been made a little bit more specific you can do a lot more things with it so you have of course uh, whenever you start this you will of course have your first parameter what's going to be deposit your second parameter is going to be money or gold you can also have withdraw and then money and gold and whenever you do this then this gets triggered resync what basically what it does is if i would go to the database for a moment and i go to the banking table you have here a table called synced and in synced there are all bank uh, all banks except the bank that you that's right here so these are all the other banks you can see that it says synced false so gold zero bank rhodes synced false this is what i said earlier we're gonna create a job for it that if you have like right now I have one dollar in Valentine so somebody can get a courier's job take these banknotes go to Saint Denis for example or in this case Rhodes and then whenever they deliver the papers it be sync uh, on Rhodes will become true 
and then money will be one. So whenever you do a new transaction on any bank, doesn't matter which one, all these banks will be put back synced, will be put back to false. So that the system knows again that, okay, you have made a transaction and all these banks need to sync up again for you in order for you to, um, to you know, get your money elsewhere than just where you have placed it. So this way you are able to put money into one bank account and maybe a half an hour to an hour later, you will be able to withdraw that money from a different bank account. Now keep in mind, if you do that and you go straight back to the bank where you have deposited initially, you can still pull your money back. So it is $1. So let's say I place $1 inside Valentine and Rhodus gets updated. Now I withdraw from Rhodus and I straight go to Valentine and withdraw with my $1 in Valentine too. Yes, you can do that. And yes, you will duplicate your money with that. And yes, you will have problems because whenever the papers come back from Rhodus to Valentine, basically saying to Valentine, hey, um, this guy has um, withdraw his money from this bank. So Valentine Bank now has to pay up to Rhodus. So n that becomes a problem. Now Valentine Bank knows that you have uh, scammed the bank and you're basically are in debt now. This is not a loan, this is debt. You will have a certain amount of time to pay this off. A telegram will be sent to you by via a player could be doing this handing over a telegram um, it, and if there is no uh, player online but you are online an NPC will come to you handing you a telegram by horse if you somewhere on the map of course if you are offline the telegram will go to the post office but if you do not pay in time the b cashier the banker will actually go to the police to the sheriff and file a report and you will become wanted for that depending on how much you have scammed the bank you actually can become an outlaw become because of that and now you're not just wanted you are also wanted dead or alive so keep that in mind you have that opportunity to do that but if it goes wrong you can lose a lot of stuff so know that it's there but I would not advise to use it, especially not with large amounts of money, because you will lose everything. They will take away your guns, they will take away your house, your room, whatever you have, your stash, in order to pay up for the debt. So if you, for example, cannot pay up for the debt, you will be sent to jail. You have to do jobs there in order to make money within the uh, jail, and then whenever you have enough money, in order to pay up your debt and your minimum sentence has been reached you get released but the money that you of course have worked for is gone because that goes straight back to the bank in order to pay up your debt so this is going to be a nice system that uh, basically nobody else has no other framework has and um, gives a little bit of a more I wouldn't say realism because uh, normally it would be like you be put, you would be putting money in the bank, let's say Valentine, and it will stay there. And you can put money inside Blackwater, and it would stay there. The only downside to that to that is that if you, for example, are in Saint Denis, and you only have money in Valentine, and you need some money quickly, because let's say you are starving. You have to drive all the way back to Valentine in order to get some money. So this way, it can help you in order to get your money faster. It does have a delay. And yes, it does have an opportunity to scam the bank. But it does will make you an outlaw. So keep that in mind. Also, keep in mind that I have changed parts of the language file. In, in the English language file but I have not updated this yet in, in the other language files I am going to do that 
but I first want to make sure that the plugin is completely done made and that all the information, all the text is be put into the language file before I'm going to update all these other language files. Otherwise, I'm going to keep doing the exact same thing over and over again. So if you are going to set your server into a different language than English, expect some errors to, um, to pop up or some text not to pop up uh, whenever you expect it to pop up. So keep that in mind too. As said before, because of this new structure, the way we do the, the banking and the character information, you have to discard the old database and take the new database file. Keep in mind that the database files from now on will be um, timestamped with a date. So if you see a database file with a new date on it, then you know that changes has been made to the database structure itself and you have to update the database. You can do this manually by yourself by looking into the file, see what has been updated. But my advice would just be because also we are in beta to just delete the database and insert the new one. So last but not least, I told you guys at the end of the video, I would show you guys what would happen if you try to spam the core menu with clicking buttons very fast. So let's show you that in right now. If I open the menu and let's say I am going to just um, go to the information tab and just go to the disco tab for a moment. If I click on this, um, nothing of course will happen. I can click a couple of times on it. Nothing will happen. So you don't have to be scared if you browse too quickly through the menu that you get kicked. But if I start to spam this very fast, I get auto kicked from the server. Now my screen will of course turn black because <laughs> you don't see a Red M anymore. Red M actually crashed right now, um, but this will happen. Uh, you will get auto kicked and you will have the message that you were auto kicked and then it says, please do not spam the Doku School menu. This is to prevent people from overloading your server, your database, and making everybody lag, especially on bigger servers. So that is just there to make sure that there is some kind of anti-cheat or how do you ever you want to call it. It's a safety precaution. Now there is actually one thing that I forgot and that's quite, um, quite a thing. I wanted to show you guys the resource monitor for a moment, um, but I done the anti-spam click before that. So my red M closes. So now um, to explain why my name is Dev Dokus, uh, in my language, Dutch, Dokus means um, idiot. You could actually define it in a couple of ways, but idiot would be one of the ones. And Dev, of course, is developer. So Dev Dokus basically means idiot developer. Um, why is that? Why I chose that name quickly? Um, then I'll show you uh, the resource monitor. Why I chose that name is because often when I'm writing scripts, I'm getting stuck in something. It's something very, very easy to fix, but I, I can't figure it out. And then and half an hour later, I go like, oh shit, no, you're kidding me. I didn't do that. Dokus, I call myself and every time. So that is how I came up with my name, Dev Dokus. So now you know <laughs> i'm an idiot developer <laughs> so quickly going back to red m um let me look into uh into uh, into the server quickly so that all the resources are running let my character quickly load in it takes always a couple of seconds there you go so if i would now go to the resource monitor Let's say I take first the server side. This is the resource monitor server side on idle. Right now it's just saying 0.00, .00 on almost all resources. And only the core, the core framework is saying 0.01. And I'm very happy with that because there is a lot of stuff built into the core, a lot of loops 
and also a lot of database information grabbing and yet we're still at 0 0.01 milliseconds so i'm very happy with that the client also is very low on resources so it most is 0, 0.00 you see the skin creator sometimes goes up a little bit to three uh, multi-character sometimes to one the core menu stays at one because it's basically checking for you constantly whenever you hit the tab key and docus core is running at 0 0.03 milliseconds client-sided so what is really really awesome and i'm very happy with that that we optimize this the the framework as we want to uh, have it we want to have the framework as optimized as possible so that was basically it this is uh, the detailed uh, explanation of uh, version 0.4.6 i hope you like the update um, there is one little bug that i have to um, give to you guys that is with the bank and the taxation the fees uh, it seems to be when you're doing small amounts that it does not really work it it it, um, it it says that the minimum amount of fee is 0.01 yet it i got reported back it was 0.2 or 0.02 at min minimum so i have to look at that so keep that in mind that's still in there but we will iron that out of course in the in the coming updates but that's basically it i hope you like this new update and let us know what you think of it of course for the beta testers let us know whatever doesn't work whatever does work it's very important for us too to know what does work hearing what doesn't work of course makes it helps us making the plugins better but also knowing what works and especially if it works smoothly for you that is also vital information for us um, because then we can move on to the next chapter move on to the next milestone and make the next plugin so please keep reporting back to us with the things that do and do not work what do you think of it what do you like of it if you have any ideas for the future future updates um, plugins, um, jobs, the way to do a job or whatever. If you have any kind of idea, you are always free and welcome to share it with us. And of course, as Christmas is at our doorstep, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoy the time with your family, friends, and just make a good time out of it. Possibly I will still make a video for the update for 0.4.7 before the end of the year. But of course, these times are very busy times. So I have less time to code, um, less time to make these videos. So may that not be the case. Then I also want to wish you guys a happy, but most of all, a healthy end of the year. And of course, a healthy 2022 thank you all for the support on docus call i really appreciate that and to all of you have a great morning midday evening or night depending on what your time zone is and we will see you guys in the next update